Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will learn how to create an application that will tell us whether the number is prime or not. Everybody knows what is a prime number. If you don't know, let me tell you. A prime number is a number that is not divisible by any other number except the number itself or 1. Now let us see what we will do in this application. First, we will take a number from the user. Then we will create a button that will check whether the number is prime or not. If the number is prime, we will display a result saying prime. Otherwise, we will display the result saying oops, not a prime number. Now let us see a practical implementation of making our application. To make a prime number application, what we have done is we have added a text field. We have added a button to see if it is a prime number or not. And then after that we have added a result label to see our result. If it is prime or not. If it is prime then we will print the number is prime and if it is not prime then we will print the number is not prime. So now we have added a connection for this number to take the user input. Then we have added a connection for this button. Inside this button we will perform all the functions that we need to perform to check whether the number is prime or not. After that we have added a connection for this that is where we will show our result. So first we will see if the number entered by the user can be assigned to this user entered string that is a constant. So this is basically we are doing this to check if user has entered some value or not and if it can be assigned to this variable or not. So if it can be assigned then it will come inside this block. Now what we are checking here is if the user entered string this variable can be converted as an integer and then stored inside this same constant again. Now we are checking if this entered string can be converted to integer and stored inside user entered integer. First we are, we are storing inside user entered string and then we are storing inside user entered integer. After that we are checking if user entered integer can be assigned to a variable number then it will come inside this block. Here we have declared a variable is prime and the value we have assigned is true. By default it is a boolean type. So if number equals to equals to 1 that is the number that the user has entered is 1 then it is not a prime number. After that so we are writing is prime equals to false. After that we have declared a variable and we have given a value 2 to this variable. So while i is less than the number entered by the user. So from i to the number entered by the user we will run a loop inside which we are checking if number this operator is called remainder operator. So if number divided by 1 gives a remainder that is equal to equal to 0. That means if the number is divided by the value i and if there is a remainder that is 0 then is prime equals to false. That is if a number is divisible by any other number then it is not a prime number and then we are making our is prime variable as false. After that we are incrementing the value of i by 1 every time till it is less than the number. So for example the number is 6 and this i is 2 so from first it will try to divide the number by 2 then it will come out then it will increment by 1 then it will check the condition and then again perform the steps till i becomes greater than number or equal to number. After that we are checking if is prime that is if is prime has a true value then it will show inside the result label to text number is prime number is our number that is the user has entered else if not prime then number is not prime. After that this is where we are coming out of our first block. Now let me show you. So after coming out of our first block now result label to text equals to please enter a positive whole number. So if this value cannot be converted into integer then it is asking the user to enter a positive whole number. Now we'll try to run our application. So 
so now we'll enter a number for example 7 and check is it prime then it is printing 7 is prime because 7 is not divisible by anything other than 1 or 7 now we'll print type 6 is it prime 6 is not a prime number so our application is working fine this is all we will do with making prime numbers thank you